we're going to start off, guys, in the anatomical position, okay? So palms facing up, shoulders back, relaxing, keeping the body upright. We're very gently going to look to one side. And we're going to come to a neutral position. And we're going to look to the other side. As I said, guys, it's full body today. And back to a neutral position, looking up to the ceiling. And down to the floor. Gonna go one arm behind the back. And we're gonna look in the opposite direction. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. We're going to take that arm away and we're going to put the other arm behind the back and look in the opposite direction. So throughout today's class, guys, as we normally do, I want you to focus on breathing. Just to help with the relaxation element of the class. Arms back to the sides for me. We're very gently going to bring the shoulders up, so elevate all the way up. And then we're going to depress and push them all the way down. And again, elevate all the way up. And depress all the way down. And again. And now we're going to move into retractions. Okay, so we're going to push the shoulders forwards. And then we're going to pull them back and pull our shoulder blades together. Shoulders forward, and them back, shoulder base together, forwards, and together. Hand on the hips, elbows are going to come together to open up the chest. I'll try and bring those elbows together, I'll show you from behind so you can see as well. Pull in the elbows. Holding that position. Opposite movement to open up your lats is you're going to try and hug yourself. So get your arms round, try and hug yourself, and that's going to open up your back, stretch your back out. And again, hands on the hips for me, guys. Elbows together. Try and hug yourself. Starting up body, working our way down to lower body. One more time, hands on the hips, elbows together. We're also going to do a little bit of floor work at the end. A bit more developmental stretching. And trying to hug yourself one more time. Quite emotional with this song as well. <laughs> so we're going to go arms up. We're going to pull the elbows down to the ground. Okay, so this is a bit like a pull-up, lat pull-down type motion. I'll show you on the knees so you can see a bit clearer. Elbows down to the ground. Allow them to come all the way up. Pull all the way down. Really allow the back to open up. We're going to pull one arm across the body. Feel that stretch in the tricep, in the back of the arms and the shoulders. And we're going to change sides. Give me love like a Hands to the side. We're going to raise up to the middle. We're then going to turn our forearms, touch our hands at the top and back down again I'll show you kneeling so you can see hands to the middle turn up to the top next one hands coming over the head 
elbow should be pointing directly towards the ceiling. You're going to put your hand on top, very gently push down, stretch the tricep in the back of the arms. And we're going to change sides. So we've stretched the back of the arms. We're now going to stretch the front of the bicep. Hand comes out away from us. We're going to look and turn in the opposite direction to feel that stretch in the chest and the bicep. We're going to change sides. Other arm. We're going to throw the arms across the body. Just to dynamically move that chest. And we're going to go the arms to the sides. Small circles going forwards. You know, shoulders engaging now. Make them circles bigger. Go all the way round. And let's work on the lower back and core now, guys. So we're going to go hands on the hips. Circles going one way. And we're going to go the other way. The next one. Not that you wouldn't do this with weight. I want you to do is allow the back to round down. We're not trying to focus on the hamstrings at the moment. We're trying to focus on that lower back. So allow the back to round all the way down. Get a little stretch in your lower back. Of course, you wouldn't pick up anything like this. Okay, you bend your legs when you pick up heavy objects good for a stretching purposes we're then going to come up hands on the hips and reach back feel that stretch in the lower back <coughs> and again round over and back up and reach it back And one more time for me, guys. Round over. And coming back and through. Arms to our sides. We're going to reach down to one side. Stretch the obliques, the side abdominals. Back to a neutral position. We're going to reach down to the other side. And again, changing sides. And again. One more time on each side for me, guys. And changing. Grab yourselves a quick drink of water for me. Well done. We've done shoulders, arms and lower back we're now going to move on to some legs so feel free to take some water on board first stretch we're going to do for legs is the standing quadricep stretch really the only thing you can do to stretch the quads is maximal knee flexion so standing on one leg if you need a wall feel free to take a wall to help with balance you're going to grab the foot pull it up towards the bum knee should be pointing towards the ground and hip should be in a neutral position we're going to hold this position Now to open up the hip, I want you to pull on the foot and allow the knee to come back. You should feel that a lot more in the groin when you pull through. And down. We're going to change sides. So knee 
knee towards the ground to stop. Hips neutral. And we're going to pull the foot, allow the knee to come back. We're going to go legs nice and wide. We're going to bend one leg while keeping the other straight. And this is for the groin. We're going to come up and we're going to change sides. Other legs should be bending. Now we're very gently going to alternate between. Now, we should feel a lot more open in the hips now, guys. So I want you to try, if you can, take a little bit wider. Don't worry, we're not doing a full split. No way we'll be able to do that. <laughs> and then the reach down between the legs. I'm sure a lot of you are more flexible than I am on this one. Very gently reaching down as far as you feel comfortable, guys. Take it very easy on this one. We're going to come up. And then we're going to reach down one more time. So reaching down, feeling that stretch. Very gently for me, we're going to walk the legs in together. Legs should be together now, focusing on the hamstrings this time. We're going to reach down towards our toes. Okay, as I said, we're not rounding the back this time. We're just trying to focus on stretching the back of the legs. So keeping the knees nice and locked. In that stretch in the hamstrings in the back of the leg. We're now going to bend the legs, come down into a little squat. See that? Bend the legs into a little squat. And then you're going to push up, straighten those legs, and feel that stretch in the hamstrings again. Okay, get a little bit lower. And again, bending those legs to a squat. You can lift the heels off the ground as well when you do this little squat, guys. Don't focus on keeping your heels down. You'd have very good ankle mobility if you could keep your heels down on this. Legs straight again for me. And one more time. We're coming back down into the squat. And pushing up into that hamstring stretch. And coming back up. Next one, you might need a wall, wall to support you for balance. You might be okay, okay? All we're going to do, stand on one leg, kick the leg forward, allow it to come all the way back. So moving the hips through flexion and extension, okay? Coming forwards and back. Change sides. Other leg. We're kicking all the way through, allowing it to come all the way back. Stop there for me, guys. We're going to go into adductors and abductors next. Again, we're standing on one leg, so if you do need balance to the wall, you can use it. We're going to bring our leg out and then all the way in. So we're abducting, taking away from the midline of the body, and then adducting as we're coming through and back in. And we're going to change sides, everyone. the calves next so the lower leg so stop there for me everyone one leg forward one leg back 
I want you to focus on pushing the back heel down towards the ground. Okay, so back heel comes down to the ground, hold that position. If you find it really easy, take the legs a bit wider. You will feel that in the back leg and the lower, lower back leg. So now we're going to push up and allow it to come back down. going to change sides so other leg forward other leg back heel comes down towards the ground coming up onto the toe and allowing that heel to come back down again feeling that stretch in the calves Fantastic, guys. Well done. Grab yourselves a drink of water. So that is our standing component complete. We're now going to do a little bit of floor work, starting with the legs and then doing a little bit, a few little bits and pieces for the core to finish us off. So when you're ready, guys, the first one we're going to do is for the hips. We're going to come down onto both knees. We're going to hold these stretches, okay, for around 30 seconds each. 15 seconds, we're then going to come back, just like we did last week for those of you that are here. We're then going to take it a little bit further and try and get a little bit more of a stretch. So one foot's in front, you're leaning in, feeling that stretch in the hip. You're on one knee, feeling that stretch. We're going to push back, take a little rest. We're then going to come through again. Really try and feel that stretch. You can take your arm over the knee. You'll feel a little bit more of a stretch and feel your hips opening up a little bit more as you do so. back and we're going to change sides so we're going other leg forward leaning in feeling the hips open up we never painted by the numbers baby but we were making it count you know the greatest loves of all time are over now everyone seems to have the right technique which is good you want to keep your shoulders back and your core nice and tight you should be rounding over like this basically on this one we're going to push back, take a little rest, and then we're going to come back in, hand over the knee, really open up those hips. Okay, we're going to bring the knee back, hands are going to come down to the floor, we're going to push down stretch the shoulders, so pushing the hips back, elbows come down towards the ground. We're going to come up, push our lower back in towards the ground, feel that stretch, spine, making sure we're breathing through the nose and out through the mouth. And again, we're going to push back, so push the hips back, feel that stretch in the shoulders. And we're going to come through, lower back towards the ground. This time we're going to look over each shoulder. When we do so, we're not just moving the head, okay, we're rotating at the core. And we're going to come back up into that kneeling position. So the next one is a little bit for the hips and the groin. In terms of your position, you want to take your legs a little bit wider, but we're still kneeling, okay? So you're going to take your legs a little bit wider. Feet stay on the ground, and all you're going to do, come into that position, and you're going to push your bum back towards your heels. If you don't feel it, 
take your legs a little bit wider. Trust me, you should feel it in your groin. So take your knees wider, as I said, if you don't feel it. We're going to come back forward. And we're going to push back. As I said, allow your knees to open wider. You'll feel that stretch in the groin. And again, coming up. And then pushing back down. Very gently on this one. One more time. We're going to bring one leg out and in front across the body for the glutes. So, leg comes out and in front and across. I'll show you from front so you can see. I should have said as well at the start, guys, if you do want to double up your mat, feel free. So you can fold it to make it a little bit more, com more comfortable on your knees. I'll do that with mine, actually, because I'm starting to feel a little bit now. Come across the body. Again, we're doing 30 seconds on this one. Come up onto the toe of the back leg, take a little rest. And we're going to come back down and in, really feel that stretch. And we're going to change sides. Other leg across the body, lean back. I know most of you have done this one with Andy before. You could have done it. Come up onto the toe, take a little rest. Again, we're going to reach down a little bit further this time. Feel that stretch in the glute. So next one, we're going to take a seat. So sitting down. Okay, the feet are going to be together. We're going to pull them in towards you. Very gently apply pressure on the inside of the legs to open up the groin. When you sit, okay, if you look at me, I'm going to keep your core nice and tight. So you don't want to be all rounded over. Core should be tight, shoulders should be back. And then applying pressure on the inside of the legs. Again, we're going 30 seconds on this one. Take a little bit further. Green was the color of the grass where I used to read its Okay, push the knees together, take a little rest. And again, allow the knees to come out. Apply pressure on the inside. Feel that stretch. And knees together for me, guys. I'm going to grab hold around the knees, and all we're going to do very gently is rock back and roll. And that brings us nicely into some core stretches. So we're going to be laying on our back for the next component. So laying on our back, anatomical position for me. We're going to grab one leg, bring it up, and we're going to bring it across the body, but keeping both arms in contact with the ground. We're laying on our back, leg across the body. We shouldn't, right, we shouldn't be moving our side. Both arms should be on top of the ground. 
feel like the lower back. Gonna come back up. I'm gonna stay on the same leg, and we're gonna take it down one more time. Try and get that foot as close to the ground as you can. If you're touching the ground, then fantastic. Come up. We're going to change sides. So other leg down. Cross across the body. Feel that stretch. Bring the foot nice and high as well. And that will help. I'm going to come back up. One more time, we're going to come back down, feel that stretch, keeping the breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And back to that lying position for me, guys. Hamstrings next, so we're going to get the leg nice and straight, bring it up, grab the back of the upper thigh and pull towards us. Keep that leg nice and straight as you do it. Don't let it bend, it should be bent, it should be straight. And we're going to come down and we're going to change sides. back down hands to the sides both feet in contact with the ground okay so feet should be in with the ground all you're going to do is drive through the heels lift the bum up squeeze the glutes at the top so we're doing a glute bridge and then very gently coming back down to the floor and again pushing through the glutes and the and the heels Squeezing at the top and coming back down. And one more time for me, guys. Squeezing the glutes at the top. And back down. Core and lower back, core engagement is the next exercise. Okay, we did it before last week. For those of you that don't know, naturally as humans, we have an arch under our lower back. Okay, so you should be able to fit your hands under your lower back when you're laying down. What I want you guys to do is squeeze your tummy, engage your core, and try and close that arch. So you should be able to fit your hands underneath. Okay, so we're going to open the arch, squeeze the core, try and close that arch. Allow the arch to open back up. Squeeze the core and close the arch. And we're just alternating between those two guys at your own pace. I really like this, really important if you're doing ab training or circuits. Do this when you do things like sit ups, crunches, leg raises. Really good to take your hip flexors out of the equation and actually engage your core. Okay, we're going to straighten the legs out, hands to our sides. We're just going to take a minute of relaxation. Kill down after the class, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And we're going to relax. I wanna be free to know the things I do, alright. 
Okay, we're going to sit up. Fantastic job, everyone. Thank you all so much for attending today's class. I hope you all feel relaxed, stretched out, and a lot more comfortable if you've done a lot of exercise this week. I know I certainly did legs yesterday, doing a few classes here. Um, so it's nice to just be able to chill out and take today's class. Thanks all so much for being so welcoming. Um, it's really nice being able to take a different class and, and do something a little bit different. And it's always nice seeing so many familiar faces as well. And I've been to quite a few of the Stretch and Flex classes now. For those of you that are new, I hope you all enjoyed it. Please feel free to tune in to all of our other classes. They can be seen on Zoom. Obviously, you guys signed in today, so you know how to access them. They can also be seen on the Christchurch Sport and Active Health YouTube channel. I'm going to come and answer some questions now and read the responses in the chat box. So please go and check out our YouTube channel and go and subscribe. Uh, please go and subscribe to our YouTube channel and go and view all of our other classes. Thanks a lot, guys, and I hope you all have a lovely day.